happy 4th of July, everybody, and welcome to the Meyer family uh, Vermont edition. Um, you are in, currently we are standing in our yard in South Londonderry, Vermont, which is the home of snowboarding. It's where Jake Carpenter first built uh, his snowboards, Burton Snowboards, um, just about a mile from here. Um, we now live here full time, Matt and Acadia and I, and we'll give you a tour. We actually still have a big toe in Brooklyn, New York, where we go to uh, check in on work occasionally, but both uh, Matt and I work remotely and actually physically. Um, and I thought we'd give you a quick tour of our property. Um, we've got some perennial flowers growing here and a really nice birch tree. You can actually make syrup out of birch trees. Did you know that? Yeah. Um, going back in the woods, there's lots of maple trees which are being tapped for maple syrup later. Not by us, but by neighbors. And Matt and his friend Dave have been making uh, beautiful mountain bike trails. There's about four miles of trail system back there. We're always competitive in this family. Cornhole's no different. Let's see how I do. No pressure. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> we have some gardens over here. Uh, perennial beds, flower, flower, flower. The vegetables are on this side. And I overplanted a little bit, so we're going to be thinning these out. And Jean Meyer from Hannibal would be the first to, to tell me that, but we have beans, radishes, carrots, sugar snap peas. Let's keep going because Matt, who's very handy, made the lumber from the trees out back uh, last year and built these beds for me. So these are made out of the, um, the logs that he cut down and cured back in the woods. We have bush beans, lettuce, sugar snap peas, broccoli, delicata squash, cucumbers, and lots and lots and lots of heirloom tomatoes. And this is our home um, built in the 80s. Um, we first uh, got the house about seven years ago as a weekend house because we like to ski and we like to be outside and it's a great Four Seasons place. Um, we now live here full time for the most part, which was something we didn't expect. But of course, in March of 2020, this is where we decided to come and hunker down during the pandemic. And we decided that we wanted to live here forever. So we do. And we're really happy about that decision. So house, gardens, and Olympic sized <laughs> swimming pool. This is kind of, we describe this place as kind of a one big mudroom. It has um, stone flooring in the front, in the first floor, uh, a fireplace, of course. Uh, the kitchen has open shelving. It's like, it really is like a very rustic home. We have three bedrooms upstairs and uh, we're currently a uh, work in progress downstairs. We're there's a lot of construction going on right now and uh, Matt has installed a wood shop downstairs and we have a gym of course with a treadmill and rowing machine and all kinds of stuff to keep us uh, busy during the winter and when we can't go outside and that is the house this is the Vermont headquarters for the Meyer family and uh, over in that direction you can't see it but about nine miles away is Stratton Stratton Mountain which is where we like to ski a lot. And in the other direction, uh, four miles away, is Magic Mountain, which is a family-run ski area. And then actually just nine miles in that direction is Bromley Mountain, which is a more family-oriented ski area. So we're right in the middle of three ski areas. Plus, Killington's about an hour away, which is where they do a World Cup race, Okemo, um, 
plenty of places to pick from, and that's one of the reasons we love it here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vermont. Let me give you a little bit of information on our property here in South Londonderry, Vermont. Um, what we're looking at out here, the beginning, the entrance to our trail network. We've got about five to six miles of connected trail, much of it built by myself and my buddies and some of it pre-existing because our land, our 15 acres here, abuts town land called the Schamburg plot and we have uh, broken through from our property, our lot, onto that uh, I guess you'd call it community-owned property, and it turns out that there was a whole bunch of trails back there, and so we've conjoined the the two trail networks, and we have uh, five to six miles now at this at this point in time, and there are plans to build a lot more. And you've been how long? You've been uh, mountain biking now? I've been mountain biking mountain biking since uh, I guess the late 80s, Were there mountains mid 80s. In Brooklyn? There are lots of very small mountains in Brooklyn. Yes, we refer to them as hills or bumps here in Vermont. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, people would think they got some ski hills and missing. you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right, ski hills, that's exactly what it is, just a, a hill. But uh, yeah, this is our little piece of paradise here in southern Vermont. Welcome back, we're now in the garage. Here in the garage we have uh, much of our equipment including the bikes, Got uh, my roadie, my mountain bike, my buddy Dave's mountain bike, Jeannie's road bike, Jeannie's mountain bike, and uh, this ATV, which we use all over the property for maintenance and also for trail building. It's an um, absolutely essential tool for trail building. On top of the ATV, I've got the Alaska mill, which I've been using to mill up some lumber. We'll show you some of the final product outside in a minute. And um, this is kind of cool. These are all bones from probably moose and cows that we found while building trails. So here, wow. the sacrum. Here's a pretty cool yeah. piece of a lo a lower jaw, yeah, mandible. Yep. Yeah, and uh, this animal that passed away out cervical. there. Cervical. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, either passed away out there or got buried out there. Hard to know exactly. Um, pretty cool stuff. Uh, okay. And, yeah, should we go outside? Yeah. All right, so over here we have an exterior stair that I added to the garage last year. Some of this, the landing in particular, and the kickers, that's all wood that I milled up right here on the property from um, trees that fell, naturally fell trees. Um, here's an example of some of the material that we pull out of the woods. Using the ATV, we just drag it out and then I start milling it up. Uh, these are some milled timbers, which will hopefully make their way to a, uh, a play set, swing set play set for Acadia. Uh, and, oh, here's flower bed, and right? the flower beds are another example of some completed timbers that I milled up for Jeannie. Yeah, it was just, by just like working in a little lumber yard getting those. <laughs> I mean, it's great. So, yeah. Yeah. Good it's, stuff. A it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun doing this. Yeah. So, you're a woodsman, you're a trail rider, you're. You can call me Jack, Jack of all trades. <laughs>